Please welcome her warmly. Hello, D.C. I am Rena Daniels, and I am from Washington, D.C., and I love D.C. Why are we here today? Justice? Were any of you here for the general rally here in D.C.? So you were in Senate Park with the backdrop of the U.S. Capitol because enough is enough. All right. I am here today not because I'm a prolific civil rights leader. I am a student, but I also have a son. He is eight years old. And when I helped him learn to read, and he came and read his first book independently. I was so proud of my baby. I should be able to say that I go to school, I teach my son, and I am doing my job as a parent. But what America is saying to me is I have more work to do because my son is more likely to go to prison than he is to go to college. That is a problem. That is something that we need to recognize. Genesis 6 happened to me. I don't know if it happened to you, but it happened to me. That was my son in Jenna. And that is not something that I'm ready to stand for. I'm not ready to see my son go to prison. I'm not ready to see injustice on his head. I'm ready to fight for him. And as a student, how do we fight? First, you educate yourself. You have to know that there is a problem. You have to know that injustice exists here in America. And then what do you do? You organize. You get together. You read. You prepare. You become strategic. There are books, The Art of War, The War of the Fleet. Find out how people before us did it. How did they strategically win when there was a war, and this is a war. You've been told before, you can go to class and show up every day and get a C, right? Well, when war is upon you, when injustice is upon you, if all you can do is just show up like you have done today, you are helping to fight the war. Show up, be present, be educated, know that there is a problem. Acknowledge that problem and help solve it. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Thank you. Give Sister Daniels another hand, would you? Bringing